You, Lutil Wanting. Rotating through unhurried rooms, the hours for touching hide over your belly, looking for signs, but the furniture is as still limbed as ever. You cut a knot from your hair and drop it like an anchor. You, leaving the house on a tram that splits the atmosphere like a worm dancing the soil. Under riderless cloud, counting the stops, a roll call of acquaintances. Funny how you found a seat when the last thing you remember was watching the traffic from the window and now the last page of your book rests between your thumb and index finger, spine flexing in your hands as the doors open, then whistle and shut, and above, power lines. Fuss like coat hangers disturbed along a rack, you say, on Sundays the city lacks purpose. That something big has opened its mouth and misted the high rises in aftershock, like a cough followed by a shudder, but there is no affirmation apart from a mushroomy mouth taste and the nausea that sweet hot tea won't scour. By the docks, orange eyed seagulls. Land on broken feet. Your sister turns around looking for a waiter. You strip a serviette down to fibre, and the only way is back. You make no new path through the water, just turn on the unbeautiful concrete before it falls into the bay. On Tuesday, walking by the river, a snake humps over the path, your heart sliding from its cavity into grass dry and long as wheat. You reset to factory settings. The reeds on the embankment shiver, then go still.